Dribbble is a popular design community that many designers rely on for inspiration and feedback. While Dribbble is an excellent tool for staying up to date with the latest design trends, it can also be problematic as relying too much on Dribbble can cause you to lose sight of your own creativity and be influenced by what everyone else is doing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you shouldn't use Dribbble at all. In fact, I personally use it to find inspiration and stay up to date with the latest design trends. I think it's a great platform for that purpose, but here's the problem. The majority of the designs you see on Dribbble are concept projects and they'll never be developed. So you cannot be sure whether what you see on Dribbble is practical or not. Is it technically possible to develop a specific interaction? Do these designs solve any problems? Are these designs accessible? So if you are not designing with accessibility in mind, are you even solving a problem or making one? These are a few issues you may encounter when using Dribbble, but with a bit of critical thinking and some careful consideration, you can still use Dribbble to get inspired while also maintaining your creativity and avoiding getting caught up in what everyone else is doing. So if you're just starting your UI UX design journey, it's totally fine to look at these beautiful user interfaces on Dribbble and discover new ideas. Just keep in mind that it's important not to follow what you see on Dribbble blindly. So what can you do instead? Well, you can seek out other, more realistic sources of inspiration. For instance, for landing page design, I personally use Landing Folio. It's an awesome source of inspiration because here you can find real world projects that have been actually implemented. They are not concept projects. You can confidently understand what works and what doesn't for these big companies. The good news is that you can even preview these websites mobile versions here. The other website I use for web design inspiration is Awards. It's a huge database of inspirational websites featuring the very best web design work from around the world. If you're looking for interaction design inspirations, make sure to check it out because I assure you, you won't be disappointed. They also have a jury of designers from all over the world to evaluate the designs and highlight what websites are truly outstanding. The other website that I really like is called UIJAR. Just like the other two websites, it provides you with hand-picked design inspirations. But that's not all. It also has a collection section where you can find collections of designs like websites with so much white space or portfolios, colorful websites, and so much more. I know what you're thinking. You want to ask, but what about mobile applications? Well, for mobile application inspirations, you can use a website called ScreenLane. It provides you with tons of hand-picked mobile application designs. What I like about this website is that it categorizes these screenshots for you. Let's suppose you're looking for inspiration to design a multi-select section. You can simply click on the multi-select tag here, which will show you all the screenshots with this functionality. It's really helpful. Let me show you one more website for mobile application designs. It's called Mobin. It's also an excellent website for design inspiration. It has a new feature called Flows, which shows you the flow tree of these apps. So if you need to create a flow chart for a project, it would be very helpful. I'm going to show you a good alternative specifically for finding user flows. It's called Page Flows. It's a fantastic website. Look what we have here. We have lots of flows. Let's open up Spotify. Here we can go from home to playlist to sign up and so on. You can also just watch this preview here. How easy is that? So can you see the difference between Dribbble and these other websites for inspiration? On Dribbble, you will see a beautiful and well-presented shot that gives you no information about the flow of a product. So what do you think? Is Dribbble your only source of inspiration? If not, what other websites do you use to keep your creativity and avoid getting caught up in the design trends that everyone else is following? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to learn more about UI UX design, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.